Welcome on back, everyone. We got ourselves another a Dead by Daylight update. We're going to be talking about more patch notes. I'm going to run through, of course, the Shrine of the Week. Uh, we all seen, uh, hopefully you all seen, if you haven't, need to go watch the old Dead by Daylight uh, rebroadcast of the anniversary to see all that new stuff coming out. We are going to talk about old Vecna. Dungeons and Dragons Vecna is coming with a bard as well. You can play as a girl or a boy. You can switch between them both. So I'm going to go over their perks here right now after we do the favorite Shrine of the Secrets this week. We got a bamboozle, the clown, diversion from Adam, X the third seal from that old hagalag of a hag, hyper focus from a Rebecca Chambers. That is your weekly shrine of the secrets that you can buy. Now we're gonna take a little pit stop. Go take a pit stop over to the store real quick, so I can show you the new. Only this week, only new. Cosmetic for Nicolas Cage. And there it is. Some people like it. Some people don't. I guess it could literally go either way. It's all right. This is the most flashiest, but it's pretty all right. Ripped up jeans. Was that? I don't even know what's on his shirt. What is that? Is that like fruit or? I don't even know. I don't know. Some paint design. <laughs> but yeah, if you'd like to get it, same as always, same as everything on his list. As you can see, 1080 for everything on his list. That is all of his clothes. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to do that, you are more than welcome to do so. As you can see up in that top corner, also uh, three times a blood points is rolling right now. Because the masquerade event is going on. Also, if you are on that uh, Twitcher Rooney stuff, you can do this right here. From May 14th to the 28th, you watch up to eight hours of your favorite streamer. You can earn that stuff for free. So you might want to get on that. Just leave it up in the background if you want. And earn that stuff. But on to the next stuff. The update. We're going to go through some of these patch notes here. I talked about a good slew of them in the past. Uh, if you didn't hear about the good slew of them, I will put it up somewhere, you know, right about now-ish. So you can go back and you can read that if you choose to. I will say, though, I don't think it's in these patch notes here we're about to look at. It could be. I might be able to scrim through that, but... Mostly we're going to be looking at the Lynch here, the new Dungeons and Dragons stuff. That's mostly what I wanted to pop in and talk about. So we're going to get right on that and get it growing and rowing and all that good stuff. All right. 8.0.0. I talked about all the rest of the stuff as I just mentioned. I'm going to butcher names because that's what I do for a living. So we're going to say the new survivor is Asteria. Asteria, Yazar. Yazar? I like Yazar. I'm using it. Mirrored Illusion. This perk activates after completing a total of 50% worth of repair progress on generators. Press the ability button 2 when next to a totem chest generator or exit gate to spawn a static illusion that lasts for 100 110, 120 seconds, then the perk deactivates. Bardic Inspiration. By the way, you are a bard. Yes, you can play the guitar. At the exit. You antagonize the killer. Anyway. Press the ability button one while standing and motionless to enter the performance interaction that lasts up to 15 seconds and empowers survivors within 16 meters. Roll a d20. This effect lasts for 60 seconds if the performance is completed. When the ability is canceled or the performance completes, it goes on cooldown for 90, 75, 60 seconds. 1. You scream, but nothing happens. 2 to 10. A skill check gives you 1% progress. 11 to 19. Skill check gives you 2% progress. And 20. Skill check gives you 3% progress. Still sight after standing still for 6, 5, or 4 seconds. This perk activates. 
until you start moving you see the aurora of the killer as well as all generators and chests within 18 meters so yes you will play the guitar a lot everywhere literally <laughs> And from what I've seen in that PTB, because I uh, looked on in on that and watched a little bit of it, I personally, like I've said a thousand times in the past here on the channel, I don't play the PTB that much because they always change stuff by launch. And I'm like, well, all learning it as it was meant nothing. So I just, I'd rather just wait for the full launch. The new killer, the Lynch, not Steven Lynch, the Lynch. Vecna. Kill power. Bound with the skin and flesh of men, the book is packed with spells both forbidden and wicked. To select a spell, hold the ability button to open the spell selection. A lynch has successful to four different spells. Yes, you heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. You can use four different spells whenever you so choose. That's his attacking. The mage hand creates a magical hand that lifts a down palette or blocks an upright palette for four seconds. Yes, that means that if you try to loop the killer, you can put the hand up and hold the pallet up. You can't drop it and will be slapped. I'm not lying. That's that's true. <laughs> Flight of the damned conjures fly, five flying particle entities that can pass through obstacles and injure survivors. Uh, it's like the line of fire, you know, line five up, shoot them. Kind of like the birds, you know, from the artist. Yeah, that kind of thing. Dispelling Sphere. Pass a moving invisible sphere that reveals survivors and temporarily disables their magical items. Because yes, you can find magical items that help you out on the map when you're playing against Vecna. The Lynch. It's Vecna. Fly. Gain a flying speed for a short period of time, allowing you to travel a long distance quickly and move over bolts and pallets special item the magical items that we're just literally talking about treasure chests found around the map can contain magical items each survivor can equip up to two magical items at once one pair of boots one pair of gauntlets these magic items are each connected to a specific spell and activate when the lynch casts that spell boots and gauntlets of the interlooper the survivor sees the aurora of pallets affected by a mage hand and gains haste for three seconds. Boots and gauntlets of the night watch. The survivor can see the auroras of the special entities conjured by flight of the dam. Boots gauntlet of the Arcus? archivist? Archivist? Either way. The survivor can see the dispelling sphere. The, the, the sphere itself, imagine this big ball flying through the map. This big ball is going to fly. And if it hits anybody, it's going to give the location to the killer. That's what you're looking at. Boots and Gauntlet of the Sky Guard. The survivor can see the Lynch's Aurora during fly and for a few seconds after. Special items. Hand and Eye of Vecna. This one. This one here. This one here. Yeah. Rarely survivors can instead find Hand or Eye of Vecna in a treasure chest. When picked up and used, survivors gain a special ability while at full health. Using one of these special abilities costs a survivor a health state and reveals her location to the killer for three seconds. The Hand of Vecna. When doing a fast locker entry, the survivor is tele teleported to a further locker. Yes. When you have that and you jump through... You'll get teleported to the furthest locker away from the killer, but you also lose a health state. And we got the Eye of Vecna when doing a fast locker exit. The survivor cannot be seen by the lynch and gains haste for 12 seconds. So yes, they can jump in a locker, pop out. They're totally invisible for 12 seconds as they run away from you and then they can reappear again. That's a thing. That's a thing, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Now... New killer perks. Weave Atonement. When any item becomes depleted for the first time each match, it is dropped. You see the auroras of dropped items. Survivors within 8 meters of dropped items have their auroras revealed to you. When a survivor picks up an item, they suffer from the oblivious status effect for 20-25-30 to 30 seconds. 
Oblivious prevents survivors from hearing or being affected by the killer's terror radius. That could work for like um, Franklin's demise, I would say. Things like that, where you drop as well as depleted. Uh, you're going to see where they drop it and stuff like that. Though I think this is mostly only going to work really good for... Uh, when you use it all to gen like a toolbox, you hurry up and use it and it's gone. Uh, it's going to show it. I do think that's going to hinder a lot of uh, survivor builds and stuff like that. Like if you're trying to gen rush, I think that's pretty much why I was made. But if you use a toolbox to hurry up and deplete it out of gen to get done. And that guy's on the map with that perk. He's going to see you. Lang... I can't even... What is that word? Who makes up these words? Languid touch? When a survivor within 36 meters of you scares a crow, they gain exhaustion status effect for 6, 8, and 10 seconds. This perk has a 20 second cooldown. Exhaustion prevents survivors. Okay, so that's pretty much... um. Anybody who runs the outside of the map that's going to run into a bird, you're always going to be exhausted. That's pretty much what that tells me. Dark arrogance increases the duration you are blinded in a duration of pallet stun by 25%, increases regular vault speed by 16, 18, 20%. Now, I've already went over um, all of these in the last video. If you did not see that video you probably should go back and look at it all i will say this out of all these right now that i see the biggest problem that is going to be a problem and they probably need to fix it from what i'm seeing people playing is this buckle up this buckle up here is a little bit crazy just a tad as a killer you know Facing someone, this is just a uh, little bit of a problem here. Buckle up. Both you and the healed survivor gain endurance for 6, 8 to 10 seconds. It has been removed, though that does not matter. The healed survivor breaks into a sprint at 150% of their normal running movement speed for 3, 4 to 5 seconds and leave no scratch marks during this time. In the PTB, it's 150 seconds right now. 150 movement, 150 seconds. That's what it is right now in the PTB as we speak. That needs to be fixed. Like today. So, I don't know how it is. If that's what they're going to go with on release, I hope not. I hope not, but uh, yeah, if you're in the PTB and look at the um, buckle up right now, that's what it says on the perk. It doesn't say this it says something else so food for thought <laughs> but i'm not going to go over all the rest of this i literally said this all in my last video like i said i put up the bumper i'll put up it again at the end here so you can go back and watch it but that is going to be it for that let's look at the stuff that's coming later where are we later? That ain't later. That's now. Let's get it up here, guys. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. We do this on the whim on my channel. We always do it on the whim, guys. There you guys go. Big. Big. You like that? I do. I like big. Anyway, we'll put it back so you guys can uh, see it all. All right, there you go. So, take a good long look at that. Give you something to look at for a little bit. There's a lot of stuff coming. A lot of new stuff. And um, I hope it's good stuff. I hope that, you know, all these licensed killers that are coming out within this year coming up are good. And um, I probably won't get my... Uh, you know, my Jason, I probably won't get that, but I can dream. But in June, you'll get the new killer, new survivor, the new map, and the in-game content here. You know, with the Masquerade, you got Vecna coming, that's all that. That is the June 
2024 in july you got the tome 20 coming out with a licensed chapter a new survivor at that you have more survivors coming out than killers by the way um in august you have a new killer licensed killer at that and a new survivor october you have tome 21 coming out if you look down below that july the game mode comes out there is a new game mode by the way ladies and gentlemen i believe it is two versus eight yeah oh yeah Two versus eight. Can you imagine the nurse and the wraith on the same map? Or Bubba and Hillbilly on the same map? You're going to see it. You're going to see it. It's coming. But anyway. A modifier is coming between August and October and September. Home 21 is in October with an in-game content. December is a new chapter for the new killer, new survivor, new map, and game content is a regular uh, killer, by the way. It's not licensed. January is Tome 22, and you got a licensed chapter with a new killer and in-game content in March, and in April, you have a new survivor coming out with Tome 21. Then you have... um. A challenge system that's being reworked in the background they're going to be doing that as well um also another thing that is coming you will be able to kill the last survivor now that is coming so as three people get killed and there's only one guy left you don't need to bring anything in the burn you can kill him that is coming also cross progression is coming you will have to make an account on behavior link everything up and then you won't have to buy everything everywhere it'll all unlock and yada yada and you'll have everything everywhere and you'll level up everywhere probably a good thing to do if you're like me and have it ever all over the place probably a good thing to do uh another thing with the 8.0.0 they reworked the night's map turned the sky into the same sky that the new map from vecna is coming out like a greenish bluish um, and it's going to have same, some of the same, like, building structures, I would say. The building structures are kind of going to be the same as, like, the Knight's Map with Vecna's. So, you'll notice a resemblance. I promise you that. You'll notice a resemblance. So, to me, they kind of took a little bit of people's abilities from different killers and put them on Vecna. You will see this if you haven't watched your favorite streamer playing Vecna yet. You will soon enough see him and you'll be like, oh, that kind of looks like this or it kind of looks like that. He has some stuff that's brand new, but some stuff that kind of reminds me of different people. So, But that's like every killer that comes out in Dead by Daylight, I feel. So it's things that um happen. <laughs> you you kind of get used to it. But we are on a week two. Like I said, the PTB is rolling. The masquerade is rolling right now. You'll be logging in every day and collecting new items. You got the blood points rolling right now. And then in week three, you got the Forgotten Garden set coming out with new stuff you can get in the masquerade at the end. And then week four is cats and dogs, and you got more of the masquerade for more stuff to collect to log in and play. So, got a bunch of stuff going on. I'll be back next week, and we'll talk more about um, different things about the masquerade and the forgotten garden. And we'll try to dig deeper into items you were maybe getting and whatnot. But don't forget to watch the Twitch, your favorite streamer. So you can collect all that free stuff just by watching. That is it for me. You all have a great rest of your day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And I'll catch you on the next A Dead by Daylight update. I'm out of here. Take care.